So you look at this and I tell you, hey, factor this expression. The first thing you're gonna tell me is I can't factor that because 16 is here, one is here, there's nothing in common to pull out. X squared is here, there is no X here, there's nothing to pull out, there's nothing to do. The next thing you should do after you try to pull things out is see, is it one of these special cases? At first, it doesn't even look like a special case, but you think about it carefully, what it means is you have to be able to write it as something squared minus something squared. Well, if you think about it, this first term should ring alarm bells because 16 is a square of four. So I can write this as 4x quantity squared. That's really what the first term is because 4 squared is 16 and x squared is x squared. So the quantity a, a squared minus b squared, a is just the whole entire quantity 4x. That's what has to be squared in order to give me this back. Minus, has to be a difference, and one is a perfect square also because it can be written as one squared. So you see, even though the problem doesn't look like a difference of two squares, it actually is the difference of two squares because a squared minus b squared where a is 4x and b is one. So once you've identified that it is the difference of two squares and you know that it's a squared minus b squared, then all you have to do is write what do we, what's the rule? When you identify it's a difference of two squares, it's just gonna be a plus b times a minus b. Now we know what a and b are, so we write it simply as 4x plus one times 4x minus one. That's the factored form. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.